If you don't know me, my name is Gracie Caligiri, I'm this year's Coral Department Manager. When Mrs. Matthews approached me and asked me to write the speech, my immediate reaction was, what? <laughs> what? Speech? It was more of a, what am I going to say that accurately captures the amount of joy and community I felt in this program for the past four years? After sitting with my thoughts for a while, I realized that the best way I can describe this feeling was not even with my own words. You feel like home. Text from Eric Whitaker's piece entitled Home are all of the words needed to describe it. This year specifically has been extraordinary. Not only have we gained so many new members, hooray, we have built the foundation for years to come. A safe and positive environment was established in which bonded the members of every ensemble together. On behalf of the graduating seniors, 317 will always be our home. I want to thank all of Council for the amount of hard work and dedication you have put into this program, and I am so thankful that I got to work so closely with you all. I am so excited to see what Council has in store, and I can't wait to come back and visit. It's safe to say that I have made forever friends because of this program, CPA. It has been a pleasure sitting in on all of the long but necessary meetings. Without your efforts, this program wouldn't be as amazing as it is. I will see you all soon because of my mother's new alumni chair position. <laughs> I didn't get checked in yet. Thank you to my parents for loving me, believing in me, and for driving me around to many, many, many rehearsals before I got my driver's license. I love you both very much. Aww. Concert choir. I can't cry tonight. Thank you all for being so supportive, patient, and kind to me as I was navigating teaching for the first time. You have truly been the best first class a wannabe teacher like me could ask for. You hold so much talent, and I'm forever grateful for you and your work. I am so incredibly proud of you all. And finally, I'm good. Mrs. Matthews, I can't believe you. You are my biggest inspiration, my mentor, and my biggest cheerleader. Without you, I would have never even considered pursuing a career in music education. Thank you for believing in me. When I didn't believe in myself, and thank you for preparing me for the next chapter of my life. It's safe to say that I will never forget all of your tactics, and I can't wait for you to see them in action when you attend one of my program's future concerts. I am eternally grateful for the memories and opportunities given to me by choir, and I know that when I do leave, I'll always have this home away from home. At this time, I made their own guys. At this time, I would like to invite Hunsini up to the podium for a very special gift. Two very special gifts, actually. Okay, let's see you. All right, this one was a little bit unplanned, so I apologize. It's a little less polished than Gracie's speech was. There's so much to say. Everyone in this room is already aware of Miss Matthews' caring and lighthearted personality, her silly millennial jokes, yet somehow <laughs> still the respect that she commands and the amount of hard work that she puts into every detail of this program. Sincerely, she has always been someone who I look to for an example of the kind of woman I want to be. The way she can instantly quiet a room with her presence. The way she presents herself with confidence and leadership no matter what she's hiding behind her smile. And the way she can always sense when I need some uplifting. Thank you, Matthews, for everything you've done for me. I'll miss our banter and obsessing over crunchy chords. <laughs> I'll miss correcting you and bonding over a shared hatred of quintuplets. She did it all the time and she was right! <laughs> I'll miss the office chats and the Huntsy Can You Hang Back. And I can't tell you how much I'll miss this program and these people and our incredibly, incredibly talented director. And with that, we have something for you. Or we were supposed to have something for you. Okay, okay. Let me do this. <laughs> So, we have two things. Um, one is just from Hunsini and I, just to you. Um, so, I don't know if you recall, but a little while ago, you lost your emotional support water bottle. <laughs> so, we decided to make an investment on a 40 ounce pink hydro flask. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Not here yet, but Jack knows what we're about. Uh, we didn't have that earlier, but it's okay. Um, so, just hang tight. I'll get that to you as soon as it arrives, but it's coming. Um, this next gift is from the entire department. They have been amazing and they have donated a lot of their money towards you because we all love you and appreciate you so much. So this is just a little something from us. Not one. 
Thank <laughs> you. 